In the mid-1960s, my father and I went to a ball game at Yankee Stadium. In fact, it was that day. Now, mind you, my father is dressed in a beard, a hat, a jacket with its sitters. And I was a little boy wearing my yarmulke and also my, you know, my sitters, the strings that are on the side. When in the middle of the game, Mickey Mantle hit a home run right out of the ballpark. We were standing up, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. When all of a sudden, from behind us, some guy screamed, Hey, you mother, blank to the blank Jew, sit down. And my father took my hand and we sat down. My father looks, leans over and he says, Are you okay? And I go, yeah. And then he says, are you scared? Now I'm thinking, my father's six foot two. Why would I be scared? I said, no. He said, did it bother you that he used all those names? And again, I'm thinking to myself, no, because if it was something bad and I was in danger, my father would do something about it. Then my father taught me an unbelievable lesson. He said, you should be happy that when he used all of those bad words, he added the word Jew. And I looked at my father and I said, why? He says, you must have been doing something right as a Jew that he recognized that you're Jewish. And ever since then, taught me an unbelievable lesson. If they hate me because I'm doing something really proud of what I'm doing about being Jewish, like dressing the way I am, shame on him. But if I'm doing bad behavior and that brings on anti-Semitism, well, that's shame on me. That's the lesson I teach my children. Always make sure the world is proud to know who you are and let them know that you're Jewish with a smile. I hope to see you again soon for another lesson in basic Judaism.